Hey guys, welcome back to Make Leaf MTV. My name is Damien, and today is a new bike day. Not for me, but for my friend Andy here. So if I don't butcher the name again, my friend Andy just ordered a brand new 2023 Norco Fluid A2. This is the Shimano build. Just got it shipped in from Quebec. From what's the bike store again? Velo uh, Fizzy. Velo Fizzy, all right. And today we're gonna be building it up. We're gonna do a quick ride uh, downtown trails and we'll get his opinion about it. Let's go. It's all coming out at once. So aside from the bike coming itself from the package, the bike actually came with some sealant here and some valves, although these are uh, not the best. I'll see what I can do with those. Uh, Alright, let's get to unpacking. Okay, well, just off everything. Fortunately, this is a little bit chunky. Damn, nice job. Alright, straps off. Here we have a dropper. This is a 170 mil dropper. Yep. It's pretty Very huge. Good. I decided to go with a 29 inch uh, large size frame. Yep. I looked at the sizing chart and I felt that my old bike was a little bit too small. Oh, it has WTB rims. The same ones as my old one. It's a very, it has a thick dropper. Ooh. Look at that. This is a what, 31.8 or 34? Wow. That seat doesn't look very comfortable. Right now. Anyways, I'm just gonna shove this in here if I can find a way to do it. And that's a lot of, a lot of tape. Gotta be careful of paint. This is an absolute beauty bike. SLX cassette. Okay, let's get on track. Norco, you did a really good job of packing this bike. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, we have to twist around the bars. Slap them on. Very nice stem and. Uh, it's a very uh. Goldy green, almost gold color. Beige. Yeah, but it's, I really like it. It's not. We have a, I like a poop green. Performance X. Full performance X. Yeah. How much travel? Uh, 130 in the rear. 130. Good. 140 in the front. Yeah, so they're just the same as my fuel VX. Perfect for what I need. 170 mil dropper, which is freaking insane. XT, four piston TRP brakes. And yeah, I don't know how they'll compare to my four piston Dior's, but man, I like them a lot. Already. I don't know, man. Looks like I think you're running the same brakes as uh, Seth Bike Hacks would be here. Oh, yeah? Uh, Shredder. Okay. So far. Not fully aligned, but uh, we'll take care of that once the bike is on the ground. This is just so it's much easier to put everything together. Let's slip the dropper out here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Hundred and seventy mil, thirty four point nine. Okay, now oh, let's get some grease. Oh, look at under this seat. It looks all weird. Droppers don't require much grease here, just to keep it keep the dirt out. You can finally put that grease bucket to use. Yeah. In. Okay, we're gonna fasten it just so it stays in place. We will adjust yeah, we it. We will adjust it once again as needed. We'll take that shiny thing off when we get it on. We're gonna need to bed the brakes because look at these huge 203 rotors. This is a big upgrade from my 180s at the front, 160 rear on my fluid. There's a point where I was gonna upgrade, but 
I decided I needed to put a lot of money into the suspension, so why not upgrade a whole bike? Rebound control, very nice, fast, slow. Okay, a little bit of grease on the through axle. So we're gonna throw that on first. Actually, first we gotta take out the little brake stopper here. And throw it in. And we'll take care of the excess grease in a bit. All right, we got any of these uh, Kona Wawa's, are these right? Kona yeah, I took, uh, they're the twos, I took them off my old bike. Uh, Daniel had them on his Specialized, and I really enjoyed them, so I decided to pick up some too. All right, let's go, get in there. And I'll be buying a bike stand like this soon as well. Fasten those on the ground, otherwise I'll rip the bike off, so, all right, awesome. Okay, well, let's take care of the shifting. Uh, this is a XT derailleur, a select. Oh, look at that really hog. Really Actually, a pretty nice hog. Very smooth, just like Shimano, right of the box. Needs kind of adjustment, but that's normal. Let's get to it. All right, sure things look the best. Uh, I mean, again, this is just out of the box, so the cable's still stretching, but uh, that's with the clutch off. The clutch on, it'll be a little snappier, but the clutch is very weak right now. Uh, we will be adjusting that uh, to Andy's liking. Luckily, the Dior XT clutch is actually adjustable via small cap right here so we can do it on the trail if you like yeah, right away much more snappy oh listen to that and listen to the hub wow okay. absolute beauty color just about torque the seat post down and we will adjust the suspension when we get out there Okay, suspension's all set up for him. Rear shock, the dropper is nice and uh, working. It's a little slow. I'm a little, I was a little concerning at first, but I guess that's just a regular dropper. And he's gonna take it out for his first ride now. Um, and after that, we're gonna head to Mill Pond in the evening. Get some nice riding shots for you guys. <laughs> 